last time on No One Has to Die. Well, we learned that time, time travel is pretty much the thing that's going to keep this together and string up all the plot. So uh, let's just go ahead and see what happens when Troy dies. Blah, 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 not again. We're just going to skip that. We're just going to get right to the chase. Like last time, so we'll lock your... Wait, no! God friggin'. We'll lock your door and flood his room. Bye, you crappy scumbag CEO. Alright, Troy, let's see what you have to say. Uh, I should probably turn that off. If we're gonna get anywhere. He's probably pissed now. So this is how it goes, is it? Yep! That is how it goes. Alright. Tell me what's going on. And then he reveals he didn't light the fire. Wait, what? You, so you did light the fire. Or, no, okay. So, he didn't light the fire. And it turns out Christina did, which we already know. So yeah, we kind of got the revelation that Christina lit the fire and it wasn't Troy and yeah, nothing new here, but why, what, what do you do here, Troy? What do you do? Yeah, why do you know that? Okay, you're not going, you're from the past, aren't you? Or no, 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 you're from the future. You're from the future. Wait, what? You're from the future. Cause I, you told me it before I read it. This time I did. I mean, this time. I've been here before five times. This is the first time my life is doing your work. Blah blah blah. Let's see. Okay. What the hell? So the game pretty much knew what I was going to do. That or this is just the timeline where he's just like, you're going to do this stuff. Eventually. Or no, no, that's what he's saying happened now. This game's really making me think. And then I, another one, Tempest Entrance. There's a, and the Tempest Entrance is the time machine! I knew it! So, the Tempest thing is the time machine. And again, and again. So this is the fifth time it happened, okay. Because he wanted to die, didn't he? Yep! He wanted to die so that we could figure out the truth. This game's really well done. I gotta, I gotta give you credit, CP Pro 10. This is actually one of the best games you've sent me. But it's okay, because no one has to die here. We're going to figure it out.
Don't worry, Troy. We'll go back one more time and save them. Someone will come and find you. So he'll go back in time. And I think that's what happened with Steve, is that he kept going back in time. And that that's why we can see all these entrances, because I keep going back in time, too. I'm starting to get it. Yeah, what does happen? That's actually a good question. Um... Yep, this is definitely a lot like Chaos Rings. I've seen this sort of storyline before. I'm sorry if I'm making that observation, but this is uh, something very familiar. With the multiverse theory, that's how. Okay, so you're going to go back in time again, and we're going to try and figure out more stuff. getting really interesting. Goodbye. Alright. Now we start to get into the other things. The end is near. The final timeline has appeared. But I get the feeling that in order to do that, we're going to have to make sure that two people survive at once. And I get the feeling... That before we can truly understand what's going on in this, I hope the mouse cursor is appearing, that we need to figure out what's going on with this. So, let's figure out what these two blanks are, and uh, take it from there. Okay, so next up, we need to find a combination in which uh, Boss Man here survives, and where... Christina here survives. I get the feeling that in, uh... I get the feeling in this timeline... Call it a hundred. I get the feeling Troy's gonna die and it's gonna be Christina and CEO. That in this, uh, timeline it's gonna be Steven the CEO. Let's, let's, uh, see what happens here. Alright, so we already established that. We've got to... We're gonna let Troy die. But how the hell am I gonna make this happen? I can only lock one door at a time, so how the hell am I going to work this? Oh wait, this shouldn't be too hard. Pfft, I got this. Alright, just let that run. And that run. Problem solved! Alright, this should figure out more of the story. <laughs> now then, what happens here is where things should get interesting. Killed four people. It'll be... S and this is where I'm going to get the... This should be where I get the code to lock two doors. I don't know how I managed to get it so, like, just the perfect order. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so now we just gotta save. Figure out. Well, I don't know what happens from here. Let's see. Oh, this is where she's going to confront him. Troy wanted to stop Phoenix from doing... Yep. She's going to confront him. That kind of does. What do you know, Lionel? Wait, what? They're both in a Oh, 
Okay, I did not see this part coming. No way. It's... Well, I guess this is just a bad ending. So I guess these are the bad endings and whatnot. And I got the good endings for at least where one of them all survived. I don't know. Well, this is kind of a downer. Oh yeah, wow, it is kind of a... Uh, kind of unavoidable shit. Now I have to watch them both die. So now what? Yep, that's bad end. <laughs> well, let's just see how the other bad end goes. And then we'll go on the final timeline. Sound good? Great. Yeah, we'll just do it right now. Skip. And now this time, we will save... Um, how did I do this again? Oh yeah, I think we did it like this. Turn. Turn. There we go. Another bad end for us. Just so we can see what happens. Wait. No, wait. I got it messed up. Fuck. Hang on, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, let's try that again this time. Would you quit doing that? This time, you survive and you won't. I think... Uh, wait, who's going to turn it off if she dies? Uh, did not think this out all the way through. Yeah, I really didn't think this out. Shit, how am I going to save him? Oh, wait, I know. Obviously, I think. Lock his door. And then start it? I think. No, that won't work either. Now sh Yeah, because now he dies. Fuck, how do I do this? Okay, let's try... I... I... No, I didn't... Okay, we'll try locking. If I lock it, then I can't kill her. This is really gonna bother me. Maybe I gotta move some of them? I don't know. I got it! Turn that on. Let that flood. Let him move. No, cause then... Uh, what do you want from me, game? Wait, I got it, I got it, I got it. I think, no, that won't work. So no matter what happens, she's gonna die. I just wanna figure out how to get the bad end for this scenario. This is gonna bother me for a moment. We'll be right back, I, I'm gonna figure this out. So, I'm really stupid. And I just kind of figured out that the way to do this is just to let it play out like last time. The only difference is that Lyle, that Lyle or Lionel or 
Troy. Fuck. I'm horrible with names. This is not there. Instead. And now they're both screwed anyway. And that this is the same ending. Except, well, different text because we killed Steve instead of Troy. So now we, so we have the same result, but we get a little bit of different dialogue. So, it's not a complete waste. Alright. And then, two casualties unavoidable. It's over, we've returned. And Christina's just not saying anything. <laughs> Good, I'd ra <clears throat> now she's just all mad. Good, I'd rather die in a world with people like you two. You know, I just want it to be known that I managed to get the uh, good endings the first time around. Wow. You know, I'm kind of glad you're dead. Just for that, I'm throwing you right into the fire. Although I guess locking him in there really isn't making anything easier. Yeah, you can just die if you're going to talk to me like that, woman. And now, we get the other bad end. Alright. So, the final timeline has appeared. Let's cut this and begin figuring out how we're going to save them all. And hopefully, unravel the mystery behind Felix Corporation, or Phoenix Corporation.